<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hey Shady Lady, and today I'm going to be doing a kind of short, simple, easy tutorial. We've been doing a lot of like really heavy stream theory kind of content for the last few weeks, so I'm keeping it easy breezy today. We are going to be talking about how to set up a countdown for your starting soon screen. This is going to be primarily focused around a, an app called Snaz. I've been using this since 2016, since I literally started streaming. I'm going to try to keep this as quick as possible, not do a whole bunch of fluff here so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it okay so to begin with just gonna show you how I found it I googled snaz countdown I will definitely keep a direct link for you in the description box below but I'm gonna go to the top result here snaz at github and then at the very top it shows you what the program looks like I'm gonna click on the download snaz link it's gonna bring me right here when you get to this top thing it talks about playing now and twitch functionality removed in 1.12.7 unless you want every single feature in snaz this isn't really that important the countdown will work regardless Regardless, and I'm not going to be talking about everything that Snaz does. You're welcome to experiment with all of the different program features, but I'm simply going to show you how to do a countdown for your starting soon screen. I've been using this for the last couple of years since it came out, so it works just fine for me. So you're going to click on snazsetup.exe and it's going to download a .exe file. Make sure that you use this at your own discretion. Run it through virus checkers if you feel like it's necessary. Be smart with downloading apps off of the internet, obviously. Make sure you're not getting viruses and stuff like that. Once it downloads, you want to open up your download folder or click it in the little taskbar. It's going to pop up a window. Uh, I don't know if the screen is capturing it right now. So it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes? I just say yes. So then we get to pick our language say English. We get to pick where we want it to install to. You can choose anywhere you want to. I would make it somewhere fairly easy to access because you do need to get the file path URL for it occasionally to add as an asset to your OBS. So save that wherever you would like to save it. You could create a desktop shortcut. I actually just keep it pinned to my taskbar down here. This is again your choice. Do you want it as an icon on your desktop? Do you want it saved in the taskbar or do you just want to search for it in your start bar? Whatever you're comfortable with. So go ahead and click that install button and then I'm going to go ahead and launch Snaz to show you. If you're not ready to use it, click that checkbox off, obviously. Okay, and once it launches, you're going to get a really small little app that looks like this. Honestly, it looks a little overwhelming, but it's not too bad. I always immediately go to the second tab, Chronos, Chronological Time, Chronos. Just a really quick overview of the front screen. It will output your current time. It'll show the current date, and it will do a countdown to a specific time. When I first started streaming, I did actually use on the time date countdown, the bottom section countdown down to specific time, I would have a little timer in the bottom right corner of my streams that said stream is ending in such and such. And I would set this to like, so I'm going to set that for midnight tonight, which is in about an hour. When I click start, you can see that it's got 57 minutes and it's counting down. So this is something that you, you could maybe utilize if you wanted to, but it's just going to show a countdown of how long until a certain time is reached. This helps me a lot with accountability of not being like, ah, I'll just keep playing the video game for another couple hours when I really needed to go to sleep. This just helps me out with making sure that I stuck to my schedule that I said I was going to stop streaming at such and such time. Not really the point of today's video. I just wanted to touch on that for a second. Today, we're going to go to the Chronos tab and we're going to be working with Chrono down. I use this every single time I go live and I'm going to switch to my starting soon screen really quick just so y'all can see what it looks like before we have this running. Okay, so you can see it said starting soon, but there was no timer or anything going on. Up here, we're going to change this down from time to whatever we want it to say. I typically do a 10 minute countdown. Experiment with this and test out and see what you feel comfortable with and what your audience seems to enjoy. I like a 10 minute countdown personally because I like a nice buffer of time for me to go get my water, allow my community to go ahead and gather a little bit so I'm not starting to an empty chat. But if you're someone who is brand new at streaming and you don't have that audience yet, you could probably go for a lower countdown, like a three minute or a five minute countdown. And I'll change it depending on the stream. Some days I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs and I'm like, I don't need a 10 minute countdown. I just needed a four minute countdown today. So play with this at your own discretion. You can add it to play a sound file if you want to. You'll need a .wav file and you can add that in this section right here. I don't like to use a sound file. I have never personally messed with updating the format. I have turned on these checkboxes over here. So if you check on this, it will say use double digits. I'll show you the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and click this start button right here to start the countdown. You can see that's going to start counting down right here in the blue where it says live output. We're at nine minutes, 55 seconds. I'm going to switch over to the starting soon screen so you can see what that looks like. So hopefully you can see why I keep 
use double digits on because when it gets to that last little point where it's like nine minutes, four seconds, nine minutes, three seconds, it takes that zero away and it doesn't really look like a time format anymore and it can be a little confusing. You can also do remove time span equal to double zero. This is with remove double zero and this is without remove double zero. The only other thing you need to know about this is copy path to clipboard because we're going to need this file name here. This is what I meant. You're going to need the path file to this. So make sure you have this copied, the chronodown.txt file. And now I'm going to show you when adding this in OBS. So here on the screen, you're going to click on the plus button on your sources area. It's going to pop up this window. We want to add a new text source right here. Click add source. And then we're going to get this pop up. I'm going to go ahead and do add new source, which is probably what you're going to need to do. Label this countdown. You could even call it snaz countdown if that helps you. Whatever helps you remember what this is. Add source and then we get the settings for the text file. So we're going to check this box here that says read from file because we have the actual URL. Hit control V to paste that file. I think that OBS doesn't let you paste so you'll have to browse and a quick little tidbit for this is when you get to your file explorer if you click on the folder button up here in the top it will let you just change what this is entirely instead of having to click up and double click on this folder, double click on that folder. You're going to want to remove the chronodown.txt so that it's just taking you to the directory. Otherwise, it's going to just open up the file. I'll show you. If I just click, hit enter here, it literally just popped up this notepad, which is not, we don't need the notepad to open. We just need the directory. So click on the folder, hit control V to paste that, backspace up to the first backslash to delete the actual text file. So we're just going to the directory for this. When we get to the directory, we find chronodown.txt. Either double click on it or click the open button down here and now we have it. I'm going to go ahead and get us a nice countdown going on this so y'all can see what it'll look like up here as we're editing it. The only other thing you need to do from here is format the font style to what you'd like. So you can click this checkbox up here to change to using Google fonts or you can use fonts that you already have downloaded locally on your own computer. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a cute one out. So I'm going to go with Big Snow which is the font I have downloaded loaded, change the font size, you can change the color and whether it's centered, you can add an outline. If y'all need me to do a formatting tutorial on formatting font and stuff like that, let me know. I just kind of want to focus on getting this countdown up. So we're going to go ahead and click done here and we have the countdown added, but it's very, very small up here. So I'm going to stretch this out big so y'all can see. Because it's so pixelated right here, I did not up the font size enough. So I'm going to right click on the text file, go back into properties and I'm going to change this font size all the way up to the biggest, the 288 mark, which means I'm now going to have to click and resize this quite significantly. So we have that resized. This is what the countdown looks like. And then all you need to do from here is actually design what you want your starting soon screen to look like. I'll show you mine again on the front screen so you can maybe get a little bit inspired by it. And I suppose the final thing I'll let you know is that you can change the message that it says whenever you reach your countdown. I just make mine say begin because I like to be a short little word about the same size as the actual numbers itself. But you can make it say whatever you want to like Wahoo, let's stream friends. And that's what's going to pop up on the screen after the countdown's done. You're going to see it's not going to fit on the screen because my font size is so big. So that's why I, wahoo, like that's why I just keep it as like the, the smallest word that I can. If I change this instead to begin, you could do like let's go might be short enough. It might still be a little bit too big because I do have the font size like super, super big. So there, there's a pretty good size. You'll want to go ahead and make sure you test the countdown to the very end so you can make sure it's resized nicely for when the final word pops up on the screen. And that's how you get your countdown ready to go. The only other thing I feel like I should mention um, is a, just a bit of a, a troubleshooting kind of thing if you run into whenever you're trying to change anything. So the countdown is going right now, but say I want to change this to like, may, for whatever reason, you need to extend your countdown because, oh, shoot, I've got to run to get my water filled up really quick. So you need to add an extra two minutes onto your countdown. You want to change that and then you need to click stop and start to reset the countdown. Otherwise, it doesn't know that you've changed anything, if that makes sense editing tie here just to rephrase that because I don't feel like it was clear. If you have already started the countdown and need to change the time, you have to click stop first before you restart with the new time. Okay, and I think that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. I wanted to keep it short and sweet 
<laughs> this week because I'm a little bit stretched thin as far as uh, my energy goes because I'm managing a big old charity campaign this week with the Offbeats community. We're raising funds to help Mother of Corals, which helps replant coral reefs and also train coastal communities to manage and maintain those reefs themselves. So if that's something you might be interested in supporting, I'll definitely leave a link in the description box below. The campaign runs until August 6th, 2021. Yeah, it'd be super great if y'all wanted to help support that. But thank you all so much for watching. I will be back next week with another tutorial. I'm kind of interested in sharing another little tech trick that I've learned recently, which is how to use your cell phone as a webcam for OBS. And then also another thing that I've learned recently is how to turn OBS into a webcam output that you could use in Discord calls or Zoom calls or anything like that. If either of those are something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and I will prioritize that. I am still planning on doing a full OBS rundown or a Streamlabs OBS rundown. I'm going to be planning that one out extensively because I want to make sure I do a thorough job of an OBS tutorial. So uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.